what's going on guys thanks for joining me today we're gonna redo the IMU in your Mavic Pro it's a very easy procedure all you have to do is follow these three easy steps now let me cut to my intro music with my intro scene and I'll be right back <laughs> yeah I don't know I knew it. He's been trying this whole time. And here he is. There's Yoshi. Hey, buddy. Yes. That's my boy right there. He's a good dog. Headed to the post office to drop off the case from the other giveaway. Dan S. It's on his way. I think today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. comes in pretty handy uh, paying for it online printing your own label and just walking in and dropping that crap off there you go Dan enjoy laptops get gross so you gotta give them a clean down every now and again. If you are here and you're new to my channel, then typically I do a lot of drone stuff and lately it's been Mavic Pro related because I sold all my other drones and I've just got this now. To give you fair warning, this channel is not just about drones. That being said, today, all about the Mavic Pro. I'm gonna try to help you learn how to download the Assistant 2 app and use it to upgrade your firmware in your Mavic Pro. If you don't already have the Assistant 2 app, go to DJI.com and then click Drones and go to Mavic. Then scroll down just a little bit to Downloads. And here on the right, you can see uh, the software. You can see a Mac version and a Windows version. So then download the version you need and go ahead and install that into your computer. But when you're doing this, you want to make sure your battery is fully charged on your remote as well as your Mavic. I usually hook up my Mavic and remote at the same time, that way I don't have to do it all separately. Basically, you hook it up into your computer, you hook up the USB directly into your remote, then you put another USB out, which then goes into your Mavic. So you daisy chain them together into your computer, and that's how you set that up. Once you have that installed, go ahead and open the app. Go ahead and click Allow. But when you're doing this, you wanna make sure your battery is fully charged on your remote as well as your Mavic. So once that's set up, you open the DJI Assistant app, you click RC for Mavic Pro, and that's gonna bring up a firmware list of what they allow you to either revert back to or what you can then upgrade to. In this case, 700 is the newest. It shows the current version I have, which is 600. 400 is still available. I've run firmware from 400 up to 600 now. I've run every single one of these on three different Mavics. My original Mavic came with 400 and it had nothing but gimbal issues. So the firmware itself is not the cause of most of these gimbal issues. Today I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to 700 and we're going to see if that gets rid of the little bit of horizon tilt that I still have. I don't really call this one the drunken horizon on this particular Mavic for the most part because it's not as severe as my original Mavic was, which you can go to the link right here and check out for yourself. You've got everything hooked up and you just click upgrade. It says it takes about 15 minutes. Your computer's connected to the internet, your remote control and aircraft are connected and the power is on and don't unplug it. Pretty standard stuff. It downloads it and then you wait. Thanks to editing, I'm gonna speed this up. And in about that time, it's downloaded and the install should be starting any minute. Rubik's Cube! It's only downloaded like by 52% right now. And they claim 15 minutes for the whole process. And we're at 76%. So after it's downloaded the software, it starts updating all automatically.
So after about 30, 45 minutes, which is nowhere near the 15 minutes that was, which is no, which is nowhere, which is nowhere near the fit. What dog? My gosh. Every time, I swear, he just wants to take over every video I do. Uh, after the 15 minutes that it was supposed to take, it shows you that it is done, it shows update complete, and that's it. You can then unplug everything and go fly, and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to see if the 700 software is okay. Yes, you dog. Okay, okay, outside. Okay. This is in uh, normal mode at about 15 on my yaw. And there it goes. But it levels itself out if you continuously do it. And then it goes back out again. And then it goes all over. So, yeah. You do. I mean, you're not going to film at that speed. So I'm not that concerned about it this time. Where before my old one would just totally could go this slow and it'd be all over the place. All right, let's go left and right. So full left, you get a little bit of tilt. Now it'll land itself. So going left to right, full stick, it definitely tilts still. If you're wondering, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to my camera on my, on my thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny.